Crashing. Crashing with friends. Podcast. Just imagine like trying to like fight through the blood pouring down your mouth inside your mouth and you're like spinning out as you're like trying to fight and you're like loving it <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, let's keep going like, yes i always think of the rory mcdonald versus robbie lawler God, fight i try not to that. think of that fight at dude. the end of uh, that fourth round like robbie lawler just spits a freaking huge spray of blood and then they just stare at each other <laughs> well his nose is so <laughs> fucked up that you know so much blood is draining into his back of his yeah. mouth <clears throat> yeah that's rough oh my god but i think the worst though is whenever you see people get hit in the cauliflower ear and their ear just pop pop yeah explodes <laughs> yeah so yeah those are what those aren't so aren't so gross as like <clears throat> damn you know like <laughs> <laughs> you expect like a quite the sound from it but no there's like no that sound like that yeah like i wanted to make a pop whenever that happens mm-hmm. yeah you want it to pop <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's broken bones, man. Yeah, like when you clearly see a bone, just. (laughs) God, welcome to Crashing with Friends podcast. My name is Kyle (laughs) Hobbs. I'm your host this week. We got Connor. What's up? We got Matt. Hey. We got Jacker. Hey. This is episode 144. If you like what you see, subscribe, like. And then unsubscribe again and unlike it. <laughs> <laughs> and then don't forget to share. <laughs> yeah, do all of that. Yeah. Connor, how's your week been? That's mm. been pretty good. I've watched a lot of movies that I was trying to catch up on. Ooh, like um, what? The one that's coming to mind initially is uh, Late Night with the Devil, just because it was the most recent that I watched. Cool. Um, <clears throat> I agree with you guys as far as like I did enjoy it overall. It was pretty good. Um, the stuff at the end was really crazy, um, but overall I thought it was a pretty good movie. So definitely worth a watch if you if you're into like evil kind of movies or whatever. I don't know what you call that, but uh, it's yeah. It's, I don't know. It's like a I like to call them haunt, haunting possession slash. Yeah, it's kind of a thriller, not really yeah. a horror. I, I don't know what to really describe it as, but... Yeah, I kind of want to watch it again. It's one of those movies where you, on the second viewing, I bet you're going to catch a lot of th- little things, you know, you didn't mm-hmm. catch. Like, I did notice, like, minor spoilers, I did notice that once the main dude picked up the sacrificial dagger, he didn't want to, like, put it down. So that made me think, like, what exactly happened at the end? Because did you watch it? I haven't seen it. Okay. Yet. Well, the, the ending is kind of ambiguous to a certain extent, and it's like... <sighs> What exactly happened, you know? So, it is it is pretty interesting, though. So, definitely worth a watch. And uh, some creepy stuff in there, too. Um, but, yeah, also Godzilla Minus One. I watched that one day. And then Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, the next day. Yeah. Guess which one was better? <laughs> minus One, probably. Yeah, Minus One was just so good, dude. It was, actually, <laughs> it was a real movie, which felt great. Um, the other movie had, like, a Tom Holland little monkey in it i don't know if you guys saw that little monkey but i'm i'm like convinced it's tom holland playing that (laughs) monkey and it's a cgi monkey so i don't don't know exactly what's going on there but um it it was like a really (laughs) bad movie dude um it was just a kong movie it wasn't really a godzilla like godzilla is in parts of it but it's it's like pretty much all kong like it's Mm -hmm. all about kong and he's like a big baby he's getting hurt it's it's pretty dumb he gets a gauntlet oh yeah 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 Yeah. that his red gauntlet fist yeah it's just because his arm gets fucked up i'm like oh let's yeah. put on the big weapon on his arm now it's like okay what's the which one was it what was the one called after that one uh that one's i hear hits pretty good like it's pretty better way better than the x kong godzilla x versus kong or whatever okay because there's like the godzilla versus kong which is the one where uh, mecha godzilla comes in there i'm pretty sure mm-hmm. and then this new one is godzilla x kong not versus just x kong oh okay and then the new empire and like because i think in the last movie like it was mecha godzilla being the, the main villain so it was mainly a godzilla movie this one it's like that new like monkey dude with the whip or whatever and he's like <laughs> he's got <laughs> he's got this like piece of this 
this like ice titan that's like twice as big as like Godzilla and he's like he's laser pointering it at people and causing the creature to like ice beam people like he's like he pulls it out cuz at the end of his whip so he'll just like laser people and then like the the freaking ice blast will come in it's pretty dumb uh, and then like Tom Holland monkey comes in at the very end and he blows up the shard and it causes an ice explosion it was just like how is that little crystal controlling that main dude and destroying it ends the control of the the monster? Uh, it was it, it, very confusing, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, definitely not worth the watch. Watch my, uh, minus one Godzilla minus one. I watched it in Japanese, dude. I don't know if any of you watched the dubbed version or not, but I'm just like I'm gonna go pure with the Japanese. Definitely worth your time. Yeah, it's it's on my watch list. I haven't watched it yet. Mm-hmm. I just now realized it's on Netflix. Okay. So. Yeah, definitely check that one out. Um, the one that I probably liked the most was uh, The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, mm. which is based on a true story. Did any of you guys know that? No. Nah. So uh, at the beginning of the movie, like they're introducing like characters and stuff, and this dude's like, I'm um, like something, like either like a major or something, uh, Ian Fleming. I'm like, Ian Fleming? I'm like, what? Because I knew, like, instantly, I'm like, that's the writer of the James Bond books. And then uh, I looked it up, and it's like, yeah, Ian Fleming, he was in the the British Special Forces or whatever, like a major officer. And, uh, yeah, Henry Cavill um, plays the guy that people believe he based James Bond off of. And, like, he's not necessarily, like, a James Bond type, but he does do, like, a lot of, like, secret, like, mission stuff. But it's, like, more of, like, a, uh, like a group spy film. As opposed to like a solo spy film. film. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Like, kind of puts in the uh, uh, the idea of Cameron Cavill being the next Bond. Like, kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's like fruition. Mm-hmm. It's like if, even though he wasn't like necessarily the the new Bond, he's he playing the guy who was Bond. In yeah. Life. Inspired by. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. He goes from being a Bond villain henchman to being Bond himself. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dude, I love his role in Mission Impossible Six. Yeah, he cocks his out. fist. Yeah, once he gets his face <laughs> melted, dude, I'm like, yes. Um, but yeah, the uh, the overall story was great. I thought the acting was great. Um, and I think at the end of the movie, it shows you what happened to the people in real life and where they ended up and stuff. It, it's a really good story. Um, it, like as soon as I watched it, I'm like, dude, do I do I start that again? <laughs> I, I had that feeling. It's like, man. Probably in like a week or two. Probably, actually, probably today. I might just because it was a week ago. Uh, I might watch that today again. But pretty good, pretty good. Um, it's a Guy Ritchie movie, isn't it? It's a Guy Ritchie movie. Yeah. So he's got some of those scenes where he's just like just shooting guns and stuff, and you know how it is. Um, man, I'm, I'm blanking on a few of these other movies. I knew it was gonna happen. You checked uh, out Fall Guys, right? The Fall Guy, yeah. The Fall, the Fall Guy. Fall Guy, yeah. Yeah, really good, really good movie. Is pretty much how i thought it was going to be you know in a lot of ways ryan gosling does great emily blunt does great um aaron taylor johnson pretty good at what he's doing in that um at the very end jason momoa (laughs) he's great (laughs) um it's just it's very much worth your time if you're into rom-coms or just action comedies in general it's a good movie if you like ryan gosling watch it so yeah i'll have to check it out i've been meaning to watch it i just haven't yet Mm mm-hmm I love Ryan Gosling, just mm-hmm. like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's he's such a good actor, so talented. Um, and then, uh, God, there was one more movie I watched, at least. But it's whatever. Uh, Game of Thrones. I'm ready for mm-hmm. that, dude. Yeah, Did you guys watch last week's? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. Dragons are finally popping off in this season. They are. off. They are tore it up. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's like, he's OG. Yeah, dude. He's the big boy. There's one less dragon now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's one less one. Well, Maybe wait. two. Yeah, Sunfire. Maybe two. I think Sunfire is probably... I don't know if Sunfire gets done in right in that battle or not. Uh, it's hard to tell, yeah. I never read the books, but my brother did, so he he would know. But yeah, what was it, Maley's? I, I can't mm-hmm. remember. Raina's dragon? Mm-hmm. Maley's? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure dead. That sucks, too. Mm-hmm. Who's your guys' like, which dragons is your guys' favorite? Oh, man, I don't know Damon. the names. You guys like Syraxis? Yeah. 
I don't, I kind of I like Vagar after that last episode. Like she's just like chill. Like takes off like takes like three business days to take off, <laughs> but it's also got like master stealth and everything else. So I'm just like, man, Vagar is going to be hard to top. Mm-hmm. It's just that. Uh you say the dragon Seraxis, is that his name? Yeah, Damon's Damon dragon Seraxis. It's just got such a unique uh, design. Yeah, he's got that long neck, and he's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's pretty cool. I like Seraxis. Probably my second favorite. Yeah. There, yeah. I don't know, the nearest dragons, they were all kind of samey. Yeah. In a lot of ways. Yeah. Just different colors. Yeah, know? yeah. Drogon was, like, the one that was the alpha, I guess. You mm-hmm. know? Stood out and survived... So right. who knows how old Drogon will be whenever he's all said and done, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just playing uh, some other games, playing finals with these guys, um, playing Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, really enjoying that. Um, and then started a Thousand Times Resist last night, which is just a story-based game, which I don't know anything about it yet. Even after playing like an hour of it, still don't know anything about it. So we'll see see what's going on. Uh, pretty confusing story so far, but really, really interesting. Matt, how, how you doing? Uh, not too bad. Had a pretty good week, uh, despite working, whatever. But uh, uh, I ended up like, so I, like a couple of months ago, I kind of got back into like detailing like cars and stuff like that. And I've been like buying probably way honestly too much stuff like detailing supplies uh products and tools and stuff like that well this uh i think it was it thursday i ended up uh, instead of running a route for fedex i ended up detailing my boss's jeep uh she had like a what was it, the common jeep that all the girls buy the was a grand cherokee i think uh, anyway, she had like taken it camping like a couple weeks ago, so it was pretty kind of trashed. And so I cleaned that up, cleaned that Thursday, and then kind of, uh, kind of like been debating on starting a mobile detailing business. This like after doing that, like I kind of felt like I did, I, I did a good job, you know, and then uh, I felt like I had the uh, skill set and the mindset to do something like that. So that's that happened this week, like uh, trying to jumpstart a business and stuff like that. But because uh, I just I just don't like working for people, you know. Mm-hmm. I like working. I mean, I can work, but I just you know sometimes working for people, it's like you got to do things their way, and then mm-hmm. that just. You know, that's never, that doesn't always work out, you know, trying to do things a company's way. And so I just want to, like, take it, uh, something that I love to do. Like, I, I, for some reason, love to, like, clean cars, for some reason, detail them. Like, 95 degree weather. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> had that going on. And then, uh, also getting ready for a vacation this week, going to Colorado with the uh fam uh anything fun planned in there yeah once you get there yeah like once we get there uh i'll be going with my mom and dad's and uh so like there won't be like nothing too crazy you know like rock climbing or like climbing water ice. rafting yeah I, I would like to i would honestly do that myself but i don't think my parents are up for that but uh, we just want to like go see some shit honestly like we just want to see uh, the place that we're going to is in Pikes Peak or like right by Pikes Peak oh yeah so we would definitely want to try out Pikes Peak he's also like uh, it's my mom's cousin he's like putting this thing on he's kind of going through a divorce and he has an Airbnb out there mm. and so he's letting us stay for free for a little bit so uh He's got like four wheelers, I guess, and a couple of motorcycles and stuff. So we'll be able to ride around on those and look at stuff, do some trails, I'm sure. And then probably like, uh, there's like this other place in out there. I forget what it's called, but it's like, like got all those rocks and stuff. Those giant rocks that red are red rocks. No, yeah, it like looks like red. It's like all red out there, but I forget what it's called. Oh, Garden of the Gods. 
Garden of the Gods. Okay. Yeah, we're also gonna check out Garden of the Gods mm. for sure. I want to go eat some In and Out. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, dude! But <clears throat> I'm trying to think of anything else that had to happen this week. Uh, watched the boys, of course, and House of the Dragon, Game of Thrones. The boys is pretty good. Uh, so you guys, you guys obviously saw, saw the uh, presidential assassin assassination attempt. Mm-hmm. Wild shit. Yeah, uh-huh. but like, I'm wondering how that's gonna work with the boys parallel, because they're gonna try to what assassinate Bobby Singh or spoilers like they're going to try to assassinate the president in the boys the TV show so it's like I don't know it's like a parallel kind of dimension thing going on there yep. or a prediction <laughs> so I don't know this is a weird universe we're in right now <laughs> uh, <laughs> weird times timeline are, times are crazy man yeah the, that's pretty much all I got uh can't think of anything right now. Are you guys like afraid of what could happen this November? No. No. No, like no no oh. speculation in mind. Just be like just gonna go to work. I like to the, the older I get the more I try to have this mentality of this too shall pass. I try to mm. say that in my head a lot. This too shall pass. This right. too shall pass. Like I yeah, I do something like that. I always try to think of uh, like the end of it all, like uh, trust in the end process, you know, like everything happens f- for a reason, but like you also want to get up and put your influence into the world, you know, your life. So it's like everything happens for a reason, but uh, like those reasons could be changed, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I try not to like freak out about like especially pop the political part of things in this country but it's like like uh you know i have a couple of relatives that are you know they're you know on the right side of things and they're like preparing for an apocalypse a war right now and it's like got me thinking like how many other people like that are doing the same thing and being putting themselves on edge <laughs> Yeah, I I think it's wild. Yeah. I think I I just I just think I'm probably thinking about it too much right before going on vacation too. So it's like <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I can't believe it happened, but it's happened several times throughout history of our presidents getting shot at, man. And yeah, you're absolutely mm-hmm. right. So it just it is crazy as fuck, though, man. <laughs> Supposedly, like a Secret Service sniper got the guy. Yeah, after like three rounds. Oh, uh, popped off three rounds, and then that's when they were able to take him down. Wow. They, I heard he was like he had some distance, but then like some people that are like enthusiasts, like marksmen, like that like to shoot rifles, they're like, oh, he didn't have distance, but like he had to have if nobody saw him. Doesn't matter the distance he got. He. He got the, he got the target obviously. Yeah, yeah. We'll see though. Who knows? It could be one of those things where eventually it's like a big, huge thing that is spidered out, and there's all these. We'll see. You know? Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll just I'll just pass the mic before I talk about that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I go all day about that kind of stuff, man. Uh, yeah, just, you know, people need to respect each other and stuff. But yeah, I mean, it goes through one ear not the other for most people. Yeah. It does. If Chris Farley was there, he could have. Tackled them before any of that happened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, black sheep. <laughs> yeah, Kyle, how's your week going? It's been good, man. It started off with Lewis freaking Hamilton <laughs> winning this winning Silverstone. Silverstone, so big, so sick, dude. I was on pins and needles for that whole second half of that race, man. It was just like, well, the whole race really was just fantastic, but yeah. I, it was such a good race, man. But the last really five laps, I didn't watch it. I couldn't watch it. I, I was just, I was just walking over there in the cor- in the, in circles, dude, just cracking my knuckles. Could barely even watch it. <laughs> Hate that feeling, man. Because given one more lap, Max Verstappen would have had him, probably. Yeah, at least a lap or two. But yeah, yeah, he was gaining so fast, dude. That car is insane. But uh, that's how my he, week. He just had the right tires compared to Norris. Yeah, man. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been checking out a lot of say what you will, man. Call me what you will, but I don't give a damn. Dua Lipa's new album. Is, okay, Dua Lipa. It's <laughs> new so, album. It's so good, man. <laughs> All right, I, Kylie. I love it. <laughs> I listen to it so much, man. It's definitely it's weird, man. It's like probably one of my top top albums of the year. Definitely one of my top albums okay. of the year. Respect. Um, I, I love it, man. I love it. <laughs> she goes hard, man. We also checked out that game, Chained Together. Oh, um, yeah, I've seen that. It's fun. Played it, beat it. Um, Four and a half hours, something like that. Really, in that first, we did, we really didn't realize what we were doing the first like hour and a half. You know, and I, th- I think the next run through, we might do it. We'll definitely do it faster. Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, but, we'll uh, see. It's a fun game, man. So it's I got every bit of five dollars out of that game. Mm-hmm. A lot of fun. Only cost five bucks. A lot of laughs. That's all I could. That's all you can ask for is just a low stress environment where you're just laughing a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure that in harder the difficulties, there will be more stress. But who gives a damn at the end of the day? Um, been checking out that new season of The Bear. I'm only like three episodes into that, but it's really good. Yeah, um, I need to watch that. I didn't, I didn't feel what David felt off the first episode, going like speechless, like damn, I can't believe I just watched that. I never got that feeling after the first episode. I was like, eh, whatever. That first episode was whatever. But uh, I, I, I just love the bear man. The intensity of them in the kitchen and mm-hmm. the yelling, the arguments is, I don't know. If you've ever worked in a kitchen, it's yeah. like very, very relatable. I only worked in a kitchen for a month, two months, maybe. I did for almost four years. Mm. I was a manager. And then my brother that also watches The Bear, he worked at Olive Garden for a while, too. So, like, we both relate to it pretty hardcore. Yeah. It's really good, though, man. Um, I really love it. I can't speak a good enough about it. How far are you into the bear, Jack? I finished the first season. That's it, huh? And that's it. Mm. The first but I finished th- the first season in like one day. Mm. It's Power. pretty I was like, bro, this is good. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But not Just, good enough to instantly get into that second season, huh? I started like the second episode and then something pulled me off it and then I just haven't got back into it yet. Okay. So. Yeah. Man, um, I mainly also, because I'm, I keep playing games with the homies, mm-hmm. and then I've been playing a lot of Siege lately too. Rainbow so. Six Siege. Yep. Um, I also checked out that show that we've been checking out for weeks, The Acolyte. Still good. Still like it a lot. Uh, this newest episode was okay. Just showing the other side of the coin of what happened during the you know the whole killing of the everybody scene. But uh, I like it. It's good Star Wars. Uh, that's really all my week has been. Jack, what about you, man? Well, I'll watch the first season of The Bear. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Siege. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Siege has that uh, mute protocol thing going on right now. So I really want to just be playing as much Siege as possible to get as much renown as I can to buy them packs. I want all them skins. They look dope as fuck. Mm-hmm. One of them is a C-3PO skin, pretty much. I want that one. <laughs> Siege has some pretty dope skins. I've seen, I've noticed. I just hate how video games has become like, oh, you want a good skin? Well, you have to pay 20 bucks for it or put in like 20 to 30 hours worth of gameplay to get it. Mm-hmm. I would love to see the case study <laughs> for, all right, let's make every skin only $5 and let's see how much money we make versus every skin being $20. Because then I would like to see, like, would more people buy the skins if they were cheaper? Yeah. Because I would buy a bunch of skins probably if they're only five bucks. Yeah, but a bit who more. knows, man? Who knows? They're just really, or only only banking on the whales. I'll tell you this. Yeah. I've put more money, like, even though I haven't played Helldivers as much, I've put more money into their currency than any other game, really. Like, real money? Real money. How much? I put like 30 bucks extra into that game. Wow. So I bought 30 bucks worth of coins just because I'm like, man, I want that armor plate. I want that armor set. I want this. I want this. I want this. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Did you do the same? And because they don't dick me off. I put uh, 10 bucks in. (laughs) I I put, I don't know how much money I put into the game. (laughs) A lot? Too much. Too much. (laughs) Probably over 50. That's not too much. Whatever. I mean, if you like a game. They give you great value for... You, they give you great value for what you put into it, so I that's would, why I do it. Well, also like supporting Arrowhead. Mm. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. I like them. <laughs> They're good. Yeah. See if Siege and Warzone and all these other fucking games would take note. Maybe I would pump money into their fucking games. But right. So like with the whole PlayStation focusing more on uh, live service games I was very very skeptical about that and then like Hell Divers 2 came out and it's a PlayStation live service game and I was like I'm in love with this and uh, th- that's pretty much made me confident into uh, <laughs> live service so it's like that like it's hard to beat that with anything Call of Duty wise or Siege or anything like that like Ubisoft big companies or what they're making right now. It's like Suicide Squad. Mm-hmm. So. I, I've, I'm kind of over live service games. Yeah. It's like, bro. It's like they come out with like 150 of these a year. And I get maybe one or two really good single player games that are just focused on story and not online. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That being said, I think the finals has really figured out a good, a good place to be. I think the season three is a good value. You get a lot of money out of it. You know what I'm saying? Any, anytime like you can make a lot of money out of the battle pass or whatever, I think that's good. But then there's some companies where, like, I don't know if you guys saw what um, Apex is doing with their new battle pass. Nah. <clears throat> They're gonna sell two premium battle passes that are both. The same price as like the normal one, and it's, they each have sixty levels, and so it's like it's like gonna be like twice as much for the players if you want all the stuff. I heard a lot of people mad about it. Yeah. So I mean, some live services are just like screwing themselves over, but then like other ones, like we we're saying, Hell Divers, where they like give you a lot of the premium currency for free. I mean, those companies have figured it out, in my opinion. You know. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And looter shooters in general, man, dropping off. Dropping off. Hard to play them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is hard to play them. I don't know what the deal is. Mm-hmm. But all it takes is a good one. I mean, guns don't mean anything if you get 20 of them every time you play a mission. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Is that all of our weeks? That being said, can I get a Division 3? <laughs> yeah, I played that. I played some of that. Yeah. Fix the dark zone. Yeah, give me one big dark zone. Uh, can we put it back in New York? Just one, just they put the game back in New York and make uh, Central Park the dark zone. Where was the second cool. game at? Second game was set Washington? in D.C. Yeah. And they had, a, they had a DLC where it went back to New York. Oh, I bet that was well received. Yeah, it was. That underground... DLC in that first game was pretty dope. It was, man. Sure was. I mean, the Dark Zone was so scary. I was scared of the Dark Zone. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is terrifying. Especially when there's a rogue in there that you just couldn't kill. It's like, man, why am I even here? (laughs) I'm just going to take my stuff. Yeah, but it was so fun. Yeah, good stuff. Matt, I uh, I had a question for you. So last week I asked Jackson who he identified more with Venom or Carnage. Who would you say you identify more with? Huey, Dewey, or Louie? Huey, Dewey, or Louie? Mm-hmm. Who's Louie? Huey, Dewey, or Louie? You don't know uh, the, uh, what's it? The little Duck Brothers? <laughs> yeah, the three ducks from uh, <laughs> DuckTales. Oh, shit. I haven't seen DuckTales in a long time. I'm with you, man. <laughs> like The only thing I know about DuckTales right now is the theme song. So now that you don't, you don't know anything about them, so... Who would you say you, you identify more with? Twisted Sister, Twisted Metal, or Twisted Ice Tea? <laughs> uh, that's a good one. I'm gonna. I want to say Twisted Sister, but no. 
I want to go with twisted iced tea. Why? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't have an explanation on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like twisted iced tea likes to party. <laughs> If you were to ask me to explain each one, I feel like Twisted Iced Tea would be the least hardest. <laughs> Connor, I got a question for you, man. Who do you identify more with? Dewey. Squirtle, Charmander, or Bulbasaur? Squirtle, because of the sunglasses. <laughs> the cool Squirtle. You know what I'm saying? But he has to have sunglasses, the sunglasses for you to identify yeah. with him. Yeah. Squirtle. Squirtle, squirtle. Okay. Now, who do you identify more with? Three men and a baby, two and a half men, or a guy and a girl at a pizza place? What was the first one again? Three, three guys and a baby. <laughs> three men and a baby. Well, which one's that again? I can't remember which one. I guess I don't identify with it if I can't remember, but what one? It's a movie with like Tom Selleck. And they find a baby? Yeah, they have a baby in that movie. Okay. It's like a pretty famous movie. I guess Two and a Half Men then. Okay. Because I've watched some of that. Man. It was okay. I, don't, I wouldn't say I enjoyed it, but it was okay. And Jackson, who do you identify more with? Blossom, Bubbles, or Buttercup? Uh, Probably Blossom. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because I don't know which is which and which is which, so I'm just going to pick a name. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't a big Powerpuff Girls fan growing up, because I was, I, was I was a young boy, and my thought of this show was like, this is a show for girls. So I didn't watch it as a kid, but as I grew up, I was like, I couldn't have been farther from the truth, but it didn't make me want to watch it. It totally was not a show for girls. It was, but It was like, both, it was both. Yeah, it yeah. was so good, man. Yeah. Now... Do you identify more with Monster House, Monster Energy, or Charlie Theron and Monster? Uh, Charlie Theron and Monster for sure. Mm. <laughs> now give me a merry fuck kill with all three of those. <laughs> all right, kill Charlie Theron for Monster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that helped me remember the last movie I watched. <laughs> Charlie Theron specifically. Uh. uh I don't know. Uh, Mary Monster Energy, fuck Monster House. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So, what was that movie, Connor? Um, Furiosa. Ooh. Mad Max Saga. Was Did that good? You, have you guys watched that yet? Not yet, no. I really liked it, yeah. Uh, the cool thing was is that it goes through the different um, strongholds in the wasteland because mm -hmm. you only really see the Citadel in uh, Mad Max Fury Road. In this mm -hmm. one, you get to see the Bullet Farm, you get to see Gas Town, um, the Citadel again, and then, like, I want to say maybe, like, one other stronghold or something like that. And um, it was, what's really cool is, like, the main bad guy, Dementis, has this, like, other dude, like a lieutenant guy, and he's, like, more like the, uh, I don't know if you guys saw the first Mad Max with, like, all the street bike guys that are more, like, uh, yeah. metal kind of guys. Yeah. He's, like, leading all of those guys. In Dementis is like a motorcycle crew, so uh, and then they end up having like kind of like a small rift at a certain point. But uh, it was it was a really good movie. Um, Anya Taylor Joy she only is in like the second half of the movie. At the first half, it's like this other girl. Um, but like overall, the great story was great. A um, lot of really uh, cool um, like effects, you know, as you would expect. A lot of people just like killing themselves to blow up other dudes and stuff. A lot of yeah. Warboy stuff, you know. Witness. Yeah. Um, but definitely uh, worth a watch. I'd say it's up there with Fury Road, in my opinion. Like, if you watch if you watch one, you're probably going to want to watch the other. It's, All right. Yeah. I, I mean, it was never a question of I was never not going to watch it, you know. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't high on your list. No, I just haven't watched it yet. Just haven't watched it yet. But, yeah, definitely, uh, I'd say, like, a 9, 9 or a 10, somewhere in there. It's, it's really good. Enjoyed it. Yeah. For me to like, to want to watch a movie means, or like a movie like that means that I have to stop playing video games. Right. Exactly. Because you're going to want to like focus in, turn up the sound. And I've been playing just a shit ton of video games nonstop lately. So. Mm-hmm. 
So a lot of the stuff I've been watching is just stuff that like, you know, I can I can figure out what's going on by ear or just looking over, glancing what's happening. Right. I wouldn't want to do that with Mad Max. Right. So. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I had an idea. What is your idea? You guys want to rank superhero movies and do a Mount Rushmore of our favorite, the Mount, our personal f- four Mount Rushmore of superhero movies? Yeah, I do. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm down. Now, we have to, we can only do one Spider Man movie. Oh, I already got mine. Because if we were going to do that, we would probably, uh, I could do at least three. All three of the Hobie McGuire movies would be on. Like, you think so? Even the third one. That's you oh, think? the third, definitely the third <laughs> one. You're crazy for that one, brush. <laughs> I don't give a. That's my. That's my personal opinion. I just think the third one, like while bad, was like probably the fun, like the most fun one to remember and think of and rewatch because it's just so mm. cringe and like all the memes and stuff. It's like a giant meme movie. Right. You don't have to sell it to me. I've, I've always been yeah. a fan of the third it's one. It's good because it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> I walked out of the theater going, okay. <laughs> I got down with that movie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and I know a lot of people didn't like it, but fuck them. I also like the second Matrix movie. Fuck them. Oh, the second, yeah. I, I've been while rewatching the speech on uh, Mr. Smith, or not Mr. Smith, Agent Smith on uh, About Purpose. It's what binds us. It's what drives us. <laughs> Purpose keeps us going. <laughs> okay. It's the smell. Yeah. <laughs> you killed me, Mr. Anderson. I don't know how. <laughs> so but let's you start. did. Let's start with the Spider-Man movie just to get it on the list. What Spider-Man movie do we all agree is the best Spider-Man movie? Spider-Man 2. I would. I was going to say either it's got to be 2 or... Um, I would probably say the first Tom Holland one between 2 and the first Tom Holland one. Personally, my favorite is the first Tobey Maguire one, mainly because of Green Goblin. Mm-hmm. I think he's just a little bit better of a villain than Doc Ock. No offense to Doc Ock, but uh, I'd be fine with two as well. I I agree with two. The more I watch it, the more I like Across the Spider Verse more than any of them. Oh yeah, but but I, I don't know why I forgot about those. I was only thinking of live action ones. <laughs> I watched it again yesterday. I love that movie, dude. Oh, yeah. I was listening to All the Way Live. Yeah. As I'm going to have to go with Kyle now. That one's mm. the best one. Mm. It's really good. But I could agree if everybody said two. I could put two on the on the Mount Rushmore. So are we doing two? Or are we do- My official vote is for one. Spider-Man one. But that's me. So you guys say what your vote is. I, I can definitely out. agree on one because of William Defoe. Don't was, agree with me. You you say what you want, yeah. and then we'll decide after that too. Well, I I just say too because it like it's like the general consensus on the internet, or whatever within the masses. That it's like in the number one superhero movie so far, but one is also. I mean, I don't know, dude. I just love all three of them equally. My vote's for Across the Spider Verse. If we're going, if we're doing that, then your votes for one. Your votes for what, Matt? I'll put it in for two. What's your vote for Jack? Keep, keep Is it. across the second one of the? Yes. I like the first one more, so I'm going to go into, with the first one. Into the Spider Verse. Yeah, into okay. the Spider Verse. the Spider Verse. Yes, the second one. So, so well, none of us agree. Spider Man is Spider-Man. a hybrid. Yeah. Okay, so that's our official Spider Man <laughs> pick. What's your guys' favorite Batman movie? Let's get that one out of the way. Mine's the Batman. With uh, Pattinson, with Pattinson, yeah. that's my favorite. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm I not think afraid we, to say it. I think we it's need hard, to though. reverse so and choose hard. a Spider-Man film. I really think we need to reverse it because then we'll just because <laughs> then we can just really just. Do I kind of actually like this new lane of just like, all right, what's the best Batman? What's the best Superman? <laughs> we can keep going on with this after this, but let's try to like figure this out first. Let's figure it out. Let's lay our bone. Let's lay the skeleton bones on the table before we f- make the skeleton. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry to make your thing different. Go with what you want to do, man. I I just, I just really think we should 
choose one Spider-Man film that we all agree <laughs> on as the Spider-Man film for our Mount Rushmore. Because if we're doing it that way, then we could go... Spider-Man is a collective. That's on the Mount Rushmore. Batman is a collective. That's on the Mount Rushmore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, say what you guys want. It's hard for me to say that, like, the five or six great Spider-Man movies are that much different, in my own opinion, of them. It's like Spider-Man 1, love it because of Green Goblin. Love it because of all the iconic scenes and quotes that I just recall naturally. But at the same time, I mean, two's got a lot of those great moments. Like you said, the the first Tom Holland specifically was really great. The second and third Tom Hollands are okay. All the uh, animated Spider-Man movies have been great. So it's like you're splitting hairs here. So I can't really tell you what, what, which one's the best. Right. You but know? as a group, we could, we could come up with one of the Spider-Man films to for us to put on this Mount Rushmore, we can do it for sure. I don't think we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> I can budge. I can budge from across the Spider Verse to have one movie be on that list. Why don't, can, we, put, why don't we put two Spider Man movies on Mount Rushmore, or maybe even four? Because I mean, we got four <laughs> bangers here. I think that's a Mount Rushmore. I don't know. Yeah, but there's other superhero movies that I. But are they even close to Spider Man? Yeah, like the first Iron Man. First Iron Man. First Iron Man is fucking it's, great. It's good. It's good. A little played. A little it's played. more than good. It's fucking great. <laughs> I, of the Marvel movies, I would put that one on a Mount Rushmore for damn sure. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe even the first Guardians. That one's a little played out, too, at this point. I don't even know what played out means <laughs> in context of this conversation. Okay. So back to Spider Man. Are we do which Spider Man movie are we gonna put on there? I'm okay with it being Spider Man Two or Spider Man One, to be honest. Honestly, I could go Spider Man One just because of the f- how iconic that movie is. And I can quote the shit out of that movie for damn sure. It's a Thanksgiving Here's movie. Finish it. Here's yeah. the thing. As long as we're not saying Spider Man three Okay or any of the Andrew Garfield ones. That first Amazing Spider-Man is actually good. The yeah, second one watched, is terrible. I watched that first one a couple months ago. It is really good, man. It is pretty good. Maybe I gotta go back and watch it again. But And I would love a super yeah. cut of the second movie. Give me a different cut of that one. Because that second movie has great parts in it. It just makes no sense half the time. Yes. You know? yeah. Sorry, Jackson. Go Keep going. <laughs> Momentum. Ah, well, I said my piece. <laughs> as long as it's no, not those... Like I'll be like, right. yo. So freaking- now we got to hear the arguments. Whoever wants to stay their argument, I've already given mine for the first one. Um, I say into the Spider Verse over across the Spider Verse. Uh, I put Spider Man one and two both at the exact same wavelength. I mean, is that like your third place or your second place? Where Where are they at for you? See. They're all, they're all the same. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like you said, Connor, splitting hairs, man. First, yeah. Let's just put the first one out there, Matt. You agree yeah. with the first? Yeah. I just. What uh, do you think, Jack? Yeah, William oh. Defoe probably. You know, let's go. Let's go ahead and say the first. It's the one that started Spider Man. Wait, Peter, it's me. It's first. It's the first live action Spider Man that we got outside of Japan. So. Okay. Spider Man One is etched in there on a Matt Rushmore. Okay, now we're, we're moving on to Batman. You guys want to move on to Batman? Yeah, I'm just, I mean, no, you can go wherever you want, Kyle. Wherever you think we'll we'll go next. It seems like Batman would be the next big one to hit, just to get sense. it out of the yeah. way, and then focus on everybody else. That's like the Black Panthers of the world, the Guardians of the Galaxies. Okay, on the count of three, everybody say their favorite Batman movie. One, two, three. The killing Dark joke. Knight. Batman and Robin. Fuck y'all. <laughs> you said Killing Joke. Wow. Kevin Conroy. Yeah, that one's a good I just, one. I just hate the that scene in it, and it's like any any type of media that's got that kind of stuff in it. It's just like, man. Oh, the R word. Yeah. Yeah. Like, man. Get that. that comic book is the way it is, but it's still hardcore. Yeah. You said the Dark Knight. Yeah, that's my yeah. favorite Batman movie. Batman and Robin. You like the bat nipples? The, the bat nipples are good. Uh, yeah. The, mo- the movie just good. has so many quotes that I 
I like every time I watch that movie, I'm always having a good time. I'm never having a bad time when I'm watching that movie. It's a fun watch for sure. Yeah. yeah. My favorite of the old Batman movies is probably Batman Returns. That second one with Catwoman, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer in it. Yep. Um, Danny really, DeVito. Really good, man. Mm. Just really good. That latex suit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do like Batman Returns. The movie's pretty dope. What's your guys' favorite of the Nolan ones? Uh, it's got to be Dark Knight. Yeah, it's Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Batman Begins was okay, and the third one just lost me in a lot of ways. Yeah, you could, yeah. For me, I, you I still love Dark Knight Rises. For me, you could have cut out the whole Catwoman part of that movie. Crashing this plane. <laughs> yeah, you the Bane parts were good. Yeah, I mean, I know Bane breaks Batman's back and all, but I mean, all the tunnel stuff, like when he's trapped in that pit, like, miss me with that, dude. Like, I don't even want to watch and that. And how stuff. the whole entire police force, entire <laughs> police <laughs> Force went down to the subway system. <laughs> Entire police force. We got word that he's in a subway, so we're sending all the police in Manhattan and uh, all yeah, of the police. <laughs> <laughs> like Eminem, or Jackson was about to do an Eminem first. <laughs> like, what was that all about? <laughs> Cops going into the <laughs> Cops going into the tunnel going for a bang. Cops going into the tunnel for a bang. Oh my gosh. Hup one, hup two. Pull up the football field. Touchdown. <laughs> Blow up the bridges. Walk on ice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Scarecrow guy, not so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I've brought Eminem to you, the people. <laughs> How could you not think I'm a agent of peace when we have Marshall Mathers? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our favorite of the Nolan ones is definitely Dark Knight. Uh, yeah, Nolan's, yeah, Dark Knight, yeah. And it's overall everything about it from, like, <laughs> you know... The iconic last performance of, um, dude, I forgot his name. Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Yeah. Good, good guy. Um, but yeah, I mean, just like the story overall is great. And like, you actually feel like, um, the, the whole like movie worked. Whereas like we, when we talked about the third one, the movie didn't really overall work. And the first one, I mean, it was just okay. Right. So I'm cool with the Dark Knight. Yeah. Dark Knight. Definitely. Mo Rushmore. But I say Mo, my favorite overall though is still the Batman, just because of like I feel like it was really true to the character in a lot of ways. But that's just me. Did you guys see they got like a new animated series coming up? Yeah, on next month I think it's gonna be like based in the what eighties or nineties, seventies? I don't know. It's gonna be like kind of a noir. I think it's like the eighteen hundreds. I want to say. No, I think it's based in like the nineteen fifties yeah. around there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the one I shared the other day. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's this uh there's another Batman um anime like. one coming out. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, anime? Yeah, there's another anime Batman one coming out. <sighs> When's it coming out? Um I think this year cuz there's already a trailer for it. Sweet. Yeah. It's more the it's like a continuation of the Batman by Gaslight stuff, right? I I don't know. That's that that, that was a cool little uh, like movie. Did you guys see that? That one by Gaslight? Yeah, I watched that one. That was really cool. I want to get the info on this. It's like taking place during Jack the Ripper and stuff like that. Oh, shit. It's pretty cool. All right, so are we cool with putting Dark Knight Rises on the list? Or... You mean Dark Knight? Or, yeah, Dark Knight. I'm cool with that, yeah. Yeah. I guess it's (laughs) no Batman and Robin, but... Yeah, you're not going to win me with that one, bro. I know I'm not going to win anybody with that one. It's hailed as the worst one. The third and the fourth. So, Just uh, uh. the third and the fourth. Yeah, of that of that of that series. Batman and Robin and Batman Forever. I don't know. The, the one with Mister Freeze and that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. George the, the George Clooney one. Yeah, I I'm just putting those. I I consider those one, two, three, and four of that series. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. 
Because like, isn't Alfred the same in all of them? Yeah, That's Alfred true. is like the one through line in all those movies. Yeah. Yeah, there's a scene in the what is the third one or the fourth one where he's like Alfred's like alg alg algorithm. You remember that? Like the <laughs> uh, there's like Alfred on TV for a second, like in the mm-hmm. Batcave. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you guys want to do for the what? So what do you guys agree is the next best like superhero movie? All right, you guys are gonna my my disagree with me on this one. Okay, Watchmen. I can see that. I really can. I like it up until the end, where it's not true to the comic. Yeah, yeah, that's what. But even then, like yeah. you can see why he made the change. Yeah, just for yeah. the movie. Yeah. But then you watch the TV show, and it's like, why did Rorschach. they have to change it in the movie? Because it makes sense in the TV show. Rorschach's journal, and it's yeah. so good in the TV show, like the explanation for it and everything. Yeah. And like, and then they continue on with more of that. The, Oh mm-hmm. man, the TV show was so good. It was really. Good. Why did they fuck up the ending of the movie? Because it would have been perfect one-two punch. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, I don't understand. And that is why, uh, big dig blue guys left Earth. <laughs> Doctor Manhattan. <laughs> I couldn't think of his name. You get more big dig in this TV show too. Yeah, when you're that omnipotent, you got the biggest dick. Everybody yeah. knows that. <laughs> Jackson, did you watch The Watchmen? No, not the show on HBO. Who watches The Watchmen? Not Jackson. Yep. Um, he didn't have Jeffrey Dean Morgan in. <laughs> no, that's not the reason why I didn't watch it. I still need to. I really oh, love him. Joe. I love him and the boys. <clears throat> yeah. Should we talk about maybe some of like the odd... Superhero movies like The Incredibles or like Chronicle or Chronicle, uh, I don't think makes it on there. Yeah, with how great it was to see in theater, that movie was awesome. Mm-hmm. Chronicle was cool, I still liked it. Yeah, do we do we maybe talk about an X Men movie Ooh, or a Wolverine there we movie? Go. Like Logan? I would say maybe X2 or Logan. Oh man, yeah, Logan is really good, but yeah, X2 specifically was awesome. Mm-hmm. Yep, I did love X Men too because Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler, mm-hmm. yep, Lady Deathstrike. Mm-hmm. What was that her name? Lady Deathstrike? I can't remember. Yeah, Lady I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then what? Striker as well, played mm-hmm. by uh, Homeboy Logan Roy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Logan Roy. <laughs> <laughs> The second one was good. So, would we put an X Men on the on the top list? There's so many of them out there. It's like, why not? You know, I would say my favorite of all of them is X Two. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I would have yeah. to go with either X Two or Logan. Logan is really freaking good. Yeah, I need to watch Logan again before Deadpool comes out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say X Two though. X Men United. Yeah, or, or is that is that in the last stand is the third one, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. X two. And Charles always did let the build bridges. <laughs> <laughs> so, but would we put that movie on a Mount Rushmore? Are there any better other movies like? Yeah, I guess we gotta get into the MCU now, right? Yeah. I don't think we really need to touch on more DC. So, what if we did the? One of out of the main three Avengers, a Thor, Iron Man, and a Hulk. Out of those three characters, their movies, which one would get from Mount Rushmore? First Iron Man. First Iron Man. I, I mean, I, I really think that movie deserves to be on the Mount Rushmore. I don't personally. think any of the Thor movies deserve to be on the Mount Rushmore. So oh, for that third, they're entertaining, third. but they're yeah, not. They're, yeah, they're Mount Rushmore material. I agree. Yeah, Thor Ragnarok though is pretty fucking pretty good. good. Not yeah. Rushmore material. It's not. It's <laughs> Edward, not. And then there's Edward, here's the thing. Edward Norton's Why Hulk is Endgame is the only not been on the Mount? <laughs> like, I think Endgame. That was a that was the first thing I immediately thought of was Endgame. I was thinking of Infinity War more or less than Endgame, but I loved Endgame just as much. See, but, I liked Endgame just because it was it was ultimate fan service, man. It was the maybe ultimate to fan its service. detriment. Yeah, personally for me, dude, it's hard for me not to have a list without in game on it, but just because if we're going MCU, like 
best movies in the MCU, I would say Iron Man, Black Panther. Black Panther is pretty fucking good. I don't know. Future Soldier was so fucking good too. Winter Soldier, yeah. Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. What's a Future Soldier? Future Soldier Winter is a Soldier. great game. Winter Soldier is really good. My argument for Black Panther is like, it's it's a great movie overall. But Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger, man, he just does it for me, man. Like, there's like having a great villain in a superhero movie makes your movie from just okay to amazing. Yeah. That's why Spider-Man 1 is so good. It's because of Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin. It's mm-hmm. not because of Tobey Maguire. <laughs> it's like yeah. Yeah. Michael B. Jordan sold Black Panther to me because of the fact that he's like wanting to kill everybody, man. Yeah. A lot of the time, like a, a superhero's or a superhero movie is only as good as its villain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why the second Black Panther was Namor. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> Let me ask you guys this. What are your thoughts on Man of Steel? Because I fucking love Man of Steel, man. Like, that's a 10 out of 10. You threatened my Superman mother. Movie. It's one yeah. of the best Superman movies for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say it's the best. That's my it, It'd be hard for me to say you're wrong. But yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. It is good. but uh, It's just not Mount, Mount Rushmore. I don't think it's All Mount right. Rushmore material. Sorry, Jack. Like, I think Iron Man would beat out Man of Steel, in my opinion. Yeah. I will tell you what I think should be Mount Rushmore material, but is not. The Batman warehouse scene in Batman vs. Superman with Ben Affleck's Batman. Yeah, where he's zipping around, getting all those guys. He's, like, fighting them Arkham style. Like, it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that that grapple on the box and hitting that dude. Yeah, he, like, throws like, another guy. Oh, my God. Like, then, that dude's dead. <laughs> threw a guy into the wall, and then that one guy stabs him, and he's like, ah! And then he's, like, annoyed, and he's like, takes it, stabs him. him. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I like that, man. That was sick. Are you guys seeing any that are popping? I mean, The Incredibles, man, that really is a unique one um, mm-hmm. that could have potential to be on there. Kick Ass was okay. I don't think it deserves it. Um, yeah, I don't think Dar- or uh, Kick Ass deserves to be on there either. I mean, as far as like worst superhero movies, if we want to do that, I'd say put The Flash on there. Um, <laughs> are you guys seeing any good ones? Um, we'll see what Rotten Tomatoes has to say. It's man, I really, really like the first Guardians movie. Yeah, Guardians is pretty good. What about Suicide Squad? I go Guardians. Obviously, we all know which one we're talking about. Yeah, of course. (laughs) I go Guardians over the Suicide Squad, but both are pretty good comedies in general. Yeah, but are they Mount Rushmore material? Mm. See, oh, I, don't know. I still think there's a spot for Watchmen up there, but I mean, we don't have to put a movie in there that doesn't deserve it. If we think another Spider-Man movie deserves it, we can put it in there. You're right. I mean, just because Rotten Tomatoes itself, I hate to say this, but they've got two animated Spider-Man movies. They got number one, Into the Spider-Verse, and then number four is Across the Spider-Verse. I don't necessarily agree with that, but hey. Yeah. Mm. I also got to feel like, man, we might be need to be thinking outside of the box for superhero movies. Like, what are some superhero movies that came out in like, the 80s and 90s? Yeah, there's that, um, the bowling guy, um, and then, uh, the mystery men, right? It's <laughs> technically a superhero movie. It and, is uh, technically a superhero movie. Green Hornet. Green Hornet, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, eh? Yeah. <laughs> huh. Teen Titans go to the movies. Um. The movie is great. The Mask. <laughs> 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 How can we forget about The Mask? Uh, there's the the Lego Batman movie and all the other Lego movie stuff that, I don't know. There's definitely people out there that are screaming at us being like, dude, how are you not considering like any of the 
the stuff that came before the stuff that we're talking yeah, about. How are you guys not saying Blade Three? How are you guys not saying <laughs> RoboCop? Yeah, they're, I guess they're kind of. That's not Hellboy a superhero too. movie. We're not talking about yeah. comic book movies. Superhero movies. Do we think that any of the Deadpool's deserve it? No, I don't think the Deadpool one and two deserve it. Deadpool, Deadpool, and Wolverine might maybe. be on that list after we see that. Yeah, maybe. we'll see. Okay, well, I really think that X two should be on that list because I freaking I love X two, man. I agree with X two. It's the, I think it's the best. Of all of the X Men movies, yeah, I would have to say either that one or Days of Future Past. Yeah, I love Days of Future Past so much, man. But a lot of people don't like that movie. <clears throat> but we're not voting for a lot of people. Yeah, or First Class. First Class was fucking dope. First Class, but is... still X Two, I put above those two, mm-hmm. the two that I mentioned for sure there's spots yeah, in first um, class that I just don't agree I don't I don't care for like that dude just Darwin he's supposed mm. to be able to survive anything and he just fucking dies I a little, little bit of radiation a little bit of radiation into his mouth a little drop of radiation yeah I don't agree okay with that. so yeah I'd, I'd agree with Kyle X2 is my third pick and then I guess um the Watchmen as well I mean Unless you guys want to go with an MCU movie, I'd say Iron Man or Black Panther. I would put Iron Man on that list. All right. Over Watchmen? Yeah. What would you put on the list, Matt? What are your final two? Definitely Iron Man, for sure. Let's see. So there's like the Spider-Man one, Dark Knight, Iron Man. What was your guys' last two? I can't remember. Mine is, um, mine is X2, Iron, X, Iron Man. Yeah, X2, right, Watchmen, Iron, or Iron Man. X2. Yeah, it'll be X2 and Iron Man. Jackson, what are your final two? <clears throat> I'll, I'll go ahead and say X2 and Watchmen. All right, Connor, you're... No, I'm going to take out Watchmen, and I'll put Iron Man, the first Iron Man. Really? You're bet you're buckling that easily, huh? What I want to say, buckling. Oh, we were talking about first Iron Man to begin with. It started off the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Still holds up. Soundtrack is killer, dude. <laughs> it's, got, it's got a great origin story, mm-hmm. and the great. ending is just fantastic. Mm-hmm. Like, I am Iron Man. It's got free, and then the villain, Obadiah uh, Stane. Yeah. 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 Great Jeff villain. Bridges. Jeff Bridges. Jeff yeah. Bridges. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Meets all the qualifications for a great superhero movie. It's Take also up. got Ralphie from Red Rider BB Gun. What's that movie? Um, uh, Christmas Yeah, Ralphie's story. in it. Obadiah Who, Stane like, freaks out on him. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's in, him? in front of the reactor. Oh, okay. Okay. They built this in a cave with a box yeah. of scraps. Because yeah. they referenced that scene in Spider-Man 3. Or no, it's... Sp- yes. Yeah, no, Spider-Man 2. Yeah, whenever they're all having that party inside the bar. And then... You guys know what I'm talking about? Nope. Now you're you're losing me. Yeah, they're all talking about why they want to take down Iron Man. And they, uh, st- and they start showing showing flashbacks. You said Spider Man Two, uh, okay. and so I in my head I thought Doc Ock. Yeah. Why would I be talking about Doc Ock in the case of Marvel Cinematic Universe though? It's not my, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. You lost me. <laughs> <laughs> then you lost all three of us. It's probably. not my fault. You. It's not my fault. I lost you. I was just trying to remember. It was, uh, uh, far from God, home. Lose you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Far from home. This one you're talking about? Yeah, the one with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that scene, and then all like, it all digitizes and. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. But yeah, spot Iron Man one. <laughs> yeah, Iron Man one. <laughs> okay, so that is that our list. So we got Spider Man one. What about my bird? Dark Knight. My bird. <laughs> my bird. My, my bird. I want my bird. My bird. <laughs> I need my bird. <laughs> we got you, your bird. <laughs> 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 it is a bird. It is a bird. <laughs> Continue, Connor. That was my Sam Rockwell impression. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forgot. So we got Spider Man 1, Dark Knight, X2. Iron Man, and X2. Yeah. 
That's a pretty yeah. good list. It's a it's a solid it's a solid top four. I think we got there. But Batman and Robin is the tour guide that goes through and Statue of Liberty. Up. Yeah. Lights the oh, way. No, nah, what what's like what's a, what's the goofy monument that we have in the United States that everyone's like, ah, oh, we gotta stop by Batman and Robin is the the world's giant yarn ball. Yarn ball. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever. Rubber band ball. Yeah, rubber band ball. It only makes the most sense. Are we gonna do the worst now? Let's do the worst. <laughs> okay. I, I put the flash on there, man. I think you it gotta stands. put the flash on there. You have to. Madame Web. I've not seen Madame Web. I saw bits and pieces, and it made me want to claw my eyes out. Ghost <laughs> Rider Two. There, <laughs> man. Dude, that's a good one, dude. Oh my gosh. How oh, does that bro. Not make the list. <laughs> it's on the list. It's on there. That is on there, bro. You made the list. <laughs> that movie sucks, dude. How, uh, Green Lantern. Yeah, I was Lantern. about to say Green Lantern. Oh yeah. And dude, I would say like the uh, original Suicide Squad, but they're not. Sucks, original Suicide dude. Squad is probably up there too. X Men yeah. Origins Wolverine. I had an argument with the owner mm. of Vintage Stock the other day. Like he was like, "The first Suicide Squad movie wasn't that bad." I was like, "The villain just danced the whole fucking time." <laughs> That was her thing. She just <laughs> just moved weird and danced. Yeah. I remember like thinking, like, man, all the dead shot scenes were so kick ass in this movie, and then like the rest of the movie sucked. I hated that. Uh, we got Fantastic Four. Yeah, Fantastic Four movies, man. The first one was actually not bad. I'm not gonna. If you're talking about the newest Fantastic Four, the newest Fantastic Four. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say don't be talking Bye. shit about the first one. Even the second one is right. still it's campy in its own way. We got Thor: The Dark World. Ooh. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of yeah. Thor: Dark World. It definitely sucked. That's I wouldn't put that on the pedestal of worst superhero movies. You, so. you think I don't know? I, I, I could put Thor: The Dark World above uh, Love and Thunder only because of Tom Hiddleston's in it. Mm. Loki. Love and Thunder ain't that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's 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 not that good either. It's not that good. They really did awful they really, to Thor really the God Butcher, man. Yeah, like they they, what him. they do to him, like they butchered you got the Christian, God Butcher. You got Christian Bale in the MCU, and this is what you're gonna do to him? Like, oh my god. Yeah, they had the right formula. That just came. Let's use it all wrong. Set him up as the main villain. That's like every movie he's killing one person at the very end of the movie in the end credits. Like, and mm-hmm. then lead up to him is like a big bad. He's the God Butcher. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got freaking Venom's like sword thing. Like I can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, forget what it's called. Um. Yes, I want a second go. Um, Electra, I can't. Even, I can't even remember Electra, so I can't even really say it's on there. But I know I watched it one time and I didn't like it. Oh God! What about Daredevil? Forget about Daredevil. Ooh, I would have put that on. Uh, yeah, there's good enough parts to where it's not. There's I enough of that movie mesh. to make it enjoyable. Like, yeah, I would put Batman and Robin on that list. Sorry, Jack. I'll punch you in your jaw right now. <laughs> While I've seen it, like. A hundred times, it's not good. Mm. It's so bad. But it is in the so bad it's good category. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I think that's its own Mount yeah. Rushmore itself, isn't it? It's, it's so bad it's good. And that is a legit argument. Yeah. I want to say that is a legitimate that's argument. That's 100% an argument. A great argument. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's all there. It's an argument. It's all there. <laughs> I mean, I'll punch you over it. That's a, <laughs> <we can argue. laughs> All right, so I'm definitely putting the Flash on there. I'm down with the Flash being on there. Okay. Yeah. Ghost, Ghost Rider Two. Ghost, Ghost Rider, Rider Two. Oh it's just so yeah. bad. It was just so bad. So bad. So bad. The first Suicide Squad movie. Yeah. Is that kind of. I I, yeah. I'll say yeah. I say Green Lantern's got to be on that list. Green Lantern. I've never been so let down in my life by a movie. Yeah. To this day, I don't want to watch it again. Coming out of that f- screening. Midnight oh, showing. Oh, guys. Catwoman with Halle Berry. 
Did yeah. you guys ever watch that? We oh, watched I, it. I, I, a I bunch. saw it in theater. <laughs> we watched it a bunch in the theater, in the cheap theater. Yeah, we yeah. went and saw that a few times. Yeah, I don't know, you saw that weird. multiple times. We saw it like four or five times, man. <laughs> oh, in man. the theater. <laughs> you saw Catwoman multiple times with Halle Berry. I saw a maximum of three times, and I saw iRobot three times, and I saw AVP three times. I saw Nacho Libre three times, so. That cheap theater was great for I that love, kind of shit, dude. I missed like a cheap theater, and a man. Half for a movie, yeah. Or something? It was it was it was three bucks for a ticket. That's sick. Gosh, man. I didn't I did like, not murder him. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wanting to see that every Murder's time. Murder's a new trick for a robot. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a theater like that still around, I would one hundred percent go to it all the time. There is a theater that like that around. Where? <laughs> You're not talking about Pittsburgh, are you? That's the kind of theater you're gonna get because that's how the, that's how the cheap theater was, homeboy. Yeah, yeah it was pretty cheap. <laughs> it was cheap, bro. I don't think the Pittsburgh theater is that bad. Wait, I don't think the Pittsburgh no. theater is bad. Jackson I, had. I if I could go one. in there and on a day I'm where there's not going to be any motherfuckers in there, yeah, I'd probably like it. I'm thinking <laughs> of the Web but you, City, but you won't give it a chance anymore to even no experience that. I went and saw movie like, theater, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, in there by myself, and it was primo. Choice. I watched Batman by myself at North Star. That was amazing. Robert Pattinson, Batman. Hell yeah. <laughs> the best one. I had to watch Batman by myself. So we in agreement with that Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And they are, once again, Ghost Rider 2. Ghost Rider 2. Green Lantern. Green Lantern. The Suicide Flash. Squad. The Flash. And Suicide Squad. Mm-hmm. The first one. The first one. I'm cool with that. Yeah. The Jared Leto of oh, I almost forgot about Jared Leto. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, no thank you. Dude. Oh. He's damaged. The damage joker. So it's damaged. So I feel like they, that joker could have been good, but that yeah. I can't I wish I could do the like the cat purring this. <laughs> Like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that Joker could have been good if they wouldn't have put tattoos on him. Like they they made him no. like a fucking. They just made him like a baddie gangster for the most part. That's ex- that's all they did. Like a well, mob boss. I mean, it also didn't help that Jared Leto. I don't know. I don't think Jared Leto knows how to act like a Joker because he was like method acting right and the whole time he was in character, and it was just like not nah, Joker vibes, just. Fucking weirdo vibes. Was he just walking around laugh casting people on Dude, set? He like delivered a couple of people, like a couple of cast members, like fucked up shit. Like, I don't even remember the details, but like he delivered a, uh, what, Harley Quinn, like something, like in Yeah, the mail. he was like sending them dead rats. And yeah. Stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> this is non Joker. Like- Fuck this dude and 30 seconds to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> I remember him saying that. He was like, fuck him and his fruity ass band. <laughs> Crazy shit, man. I don't, I don't get it. Bizarre. Method mm-hmm. acting in general. Like, why would you do that to your fellow castmates? I mean, it just yeah. seems insane. I get, I get method acting. I, I get it to an extent, but man, you're putting your fellow actors through so much shit it seems like yeah mm-hmm. yeah just same thing with, what you're doing same thing with morbius <laughs> like a really good actor can turn it on and off whenever they want so it's like if you can't really turn it on and off maybe you're not a good actor yeah i agree yeah you but then you're saying that about fucking daniel day lewis daniel day lewis and Christian i know Bale. dude i know i know <laughs> yeah i just asked a question i said maybe you're not a good actor i didn't say you were not a good actor <laughs> <laughs> yeah man I heard Christian Bell was actually acting like Dick Cheney for months <laughs> and there's that uh, uh, what's that ah oh, dude um, comedian guy from like Larry the Cable Guy and stuff uh, Jim Carrey Jim oh. Ca- Larry the Cable Guy you mean yeah <laughs> The cable guy. The cable guy. Sorry, not Larry. Jim the cable, not Larry. Yeah, yeah. Jim Carrey, like that movie where he he like portrays somebody and did method acting. And yeah, like, Andy drove Kaufman. Every, yeah, drove everybody insane. I actually enjoy that movie. It's. I think you got to finish it, Kyle. You got to finish it and then watch it again. It's one of those movies that you need multiple viewings of it. Well, I, I watched a documentary on Andy Kaufman before I started watching that movie because I just wanted to get a glimpse into like the real guy, and I was like, man, this. I couldn't even get through the documentary about the guy. 
It was just so annoying, dude. Yeah, but that that was it. <laughs> was he like a late night dude or something, or what was his? He was a comedian. Like he was like a he was an absurdist comedian. That's he, the best way I can put it. And he also wrote for like a TV show, more um, some TV show, Saturday Night Live. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, the Twilight Zone. I don't know, <laughs> but it wasn't great. Yeah, but some people love that shit. Yeah. Yeah, you, it's just you, you gotta understand that he was he was kind of, it was comedy, but it was also anti comedy at the same time. You know, mm. I don't know. Showing why he alienated people and stuff. Yeah, like part of it, like the the joke to him would just be like making everybody not laugh, and he's like, that was the joke then. So, I don't. Know. It's, it's just one of those things. Like the more you dive into it, the more fascinated you become by it. Mm. When are you gonna make that dive, Connor? Into method acting or into that movie? In that movie. <laughs> Once I start method acting, then yeah. Okay. Once I've got the performance down, then I'll watch the movie and then I'll <laughs> time my performance with the movie. That'd be pretty good. Well, there's Connor method acting again. <laughs> uh, you guys wanna go ahead and move into Yodi? Check this out. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Yo, dude. Oh. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo, dude. Oh. Who wants to get us started? Mm, somebody that has one already. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have to check this out. Apparently, there was 140 dolphins stranded off the coast of like Cape Cod um, last month, and it was like the, the reported like largest mass strandings of dolphins ever. And apparently, 102 of them survived. 37 died naturally, and then they had to. Uh, euthanize like two or three of them but yeah it's pretty wild and i don't know if you guys saw about all those whales getting stranded on that beach it was like a whole like pack of whales also died it was like maybe like 19 or 20 of them just all just got stranded on a beach and Damn. the ones that were still alive had to be euthanized as well so a lot of animals uh just being stranded and stuff all this crazy weather and it's wild man pretty wild to see a lot of mammals. Uh, I got yo, dude. Check this out. Uh, so you guys have all seen Breaking Bad, right? And you mm-hmm. guys know Skinny Pete yeah. from that show. Did you guys know his actor uh, Baker? Uh, hold on, this is Charles Baker. Did you know he uh, is like musically inclined. Like he knows how to play. You know, in that scene mm-hmm. where they're at the music store, he plays the piano. Yeah, he actually knows like classic music and stuff like yeah. that. He's insanely good at a lot of instruments. Yeah, yeah, he's. He's like knows he's a. It's a hidden talent. See, yeah, he double majored in music and theater in college. So see, see the dude. Yeah, skinny Pete. Yeah, skinny Pete. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's the same thing with that Sean Hayes dude from Will and Grace. Mm-hmm. He's like a classically trained pianist or whatever. Yeah. You never know something about people until you know it. I always heard <laughs> learn piano is hard. It's the hardest one. Of the hardest. A lot of keys, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yo, dude, check this out. I just now found this out. <laughs> I was scrolling through here, and I was like, wait, what the fuck? Check this out. There has been 17 presidents of the United States of America that served the country without a vice president. Okay, wow. I, I thought there was always a vice president my entire life. Well, you got to have some type of secession plan, so I wonder... Yeah, just be the person after who would ever be the vice right. president. Right, so it's yeah. like, huh, you really had to make sure, like, hey, they're kind of also the vice president. Yeah. Uh, mm. James Madison, Andrew Jackson, uh, John Tyler, Millard Fillmore, Franklin Pierce, Andrew Johnson, Ulysses S. Grant, Chester Arthur, uh, Grover Cleveland... William McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, William H. Taft, Calvin Coolidge, Harry S. Truman, because he was the vice president, uh, Lyndon B. Johnson, Richard Nixon, and Gerald Ford. Richard Uh, Nixon says October 10th from December 6th, 1973. So some of them just have like specific timelines when they were serving that they did not have one. Okay, Okay. I was going to say, dude, some of those names you're reading, I know for a fact had freaking vice presidents. Okay. 
So at some point during their term, they yeah. didn't have one. That makes more sense. Okay. The majority, like the majority of these, are like that. There's only let's see. There's only three presidents that served their entire term without a vice president, and that was Millard Fillmore, Andrew Johnson, and Chester A. Arthur. Wow. Interesting. I did not oh, know. four. John Tyler, too. Can't forget about John Tyler. <laughs> Cannot forget about John Tyler. He's easy. Mover and a forget. shaker, yeah. Uh, yo, dude, check this out. So, I know we've had yo dudes before about this kind of thing, but... Still, always fascinates me to find out the names of packs of animals. So the first one here that caught my eye was a pack of badgers. It's called a seat. Hmm. That's C E T E. Okay. Um, a group of bats is called a cauldron. I feel like I knew that one. Mm-hmm. Some of these on the list, like a a, pa- a group of bears, is called a sloth or a sleuth. Hmm. Um. When you have multiple buffalo together, they're called a gang or an obstinacy. <laughs> I'm going to go hang with the obstinacy. <laughs> obstinacy. When you have a bunch of like house cats together, they're called a clouder, a clutter, a pounce, a doubt, a nuisance, glorying, or a glare of cats. When you have a bunch of caterpillars together, they're called an army. <laughs> I don't know why, but when you have a bunch of camels together, what do you think that's called? Legion. Um, uh, sand people. <laughs> I don't know. A caravan. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, when there's a bunch of cheetahs together, they're called a coalition. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, who the fuck chooses this? <laughs> you guys know what a group yeah. of cro- a group of crows is called? A murder. Murder. Um, murder. What, Thank you, Incubus. What about a group of dogs? Uh, Heck. A cowardice. That's not right. <laughs> yeah, it's... They must be thinking pack of wolves. A, yeah, a pack Wolf of pack. wolves packing is Packing these pack, nuts. Yeah. Pack these nuts. Um, <laughs> what's a bunch of dolphins together? Oh, uh... Fuck, don't say. I know. Connor just said it a second ago. Uh, it's just a pod. Fuck you. I was so <laughs> close. <laughs> pack of these nuts. I really was. I was like, man, I know it's something fucking dumb like that. <laughs> <laughs> Connor said it a second ago. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just saying it. Did you guys hear about that pot of dolphins that was stranded? Um, uh, what's a group of donkeys called? Got uh, donkey donkeys? Donkey. Yeah. <laughs> Asses. It's called a pace. A pace of donkeys. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? What about a bunch of eagles? Uh, oh. I know it's one of those fucking dumb ones. A I convocation. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A group of elephants together is a parade. Okay. I can see where they got that from. A bunch of uh, elk together is called a gang as well. This one's weird. What's a bunch of ferrets together? A fart. <laughs> 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 I can see where you got that. No, it's called a business. Mm, that's business. Big business. <laughs> yeah. I got a business of ferrets in the back. Uh, what's a bunch of flamingos together? I know you guys know this one. It's a fl- flamboyance. Mm. Um, a bunch of foxes. What do you think that is? Uh, a bank robbery. It's called <laughs> a legion. I don't know. You're close. A leash, a skulk, or an earth of foxes. An earth of foxes. Yeah. Look at that earth. Over there. <laughs> There's a giant earth. <laughs> I got a warp. Um, an army of frogs. Okay. Yeah. All right. Why? Um, fight the caterpillars. The what army. do you call a group of giraffes? Oh, a uh, tower. Yep. Oh, nice. Makes sense. Daddy that one actually that. happened to know. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking watched like a animal thing two weeks ago and they were like a tower of giraffes <laughs> comes through the Sahara <laughs> um, a bunch of hippo- hip hip hop hip hip hop anonymouses what are those together hippos uh, uh, a pomus uh, hippopotamus no pomus a pond a nail salon a bloat <laughs> <laughs> it's called a bloat or a thunder ah thunder 
These are like dumb, man. No offense, yeah. but like these are all just Some like, of these are what, like what? what did people? Yeah, that's what that's what fascinates me about this the most. It's like this year dude has they... turned into a segment. <laughs> <laughs> like a group of snakes is in Nirvana. <laughs> really? Is that what it is? No, no. I'm just oh, like okay. making a joke. Um, a group of hyenas together. Can you guys guess what that is? Uh, does it have something to do with their laughs? Yes. It's like a comedy tour. Uh, uh, that would be awesome. A cackle. Got it. Nice. That was um, a guess. That's pretty good. Now, uh, some the of next, these are just like features of stuff. So exactly. Like, so with that, me with that in mind, what about Jaguar? Think about uh, think about Jungle Book. James Bond. A jaguar. Aston Martin. I don't know. Uh, does that have something to do with their spots? Uh, no, it's a, a shadow of jaguars. Okay. Um, what about jellyfish? A jam. A school? A smack. <laughs> Just a smack of jellyfish. I like a smack of jellyfish. That's the first thing I can do. <laughs> Smackers. That's like a smack of jellyfish. Yeah. Let me get a smack. <laughs> what about a bunch of kangaroos? Ah, uh, you got to fight. Uh, I don't know. We got a fight of kangaroos on our hands. You're getting Flight. close. You're getting close. Got a brawl? A troop or a mob mm. of kangaroos? Mm. See, I thought troop was for monkeys. It probably could be. Some of these, I mean, some of these in here are uh, the yeah. same names. Because yeah. I originally thought that the one for monkeys was barrel. I'm I'm going to get there. <laughs> but yeah. What about a, a bunch of lemurs when they're all grouped? Like, they, it looks like it. They're a conspiracy of lemurs. <laughs> Especially when you see all of them together and their heads are all like right next to each other. Like, see that? Mm-hmm. When I watch Madagascar, I think there's a conspiracy going on with all them lemurs, too. Mm-hmm. It's um, kind of weird how all those animals kind of like group up and look at stuff. Like, what's going on with it that? It is weird. <laughs> it's like, hey, we're going sit to sit in the weeds and just look at stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, a bunch of leopards together is called a leap. Um,. A bunch of monkeys together is called a troop or a barrel. Oh! <laughs> hey. uh, what about a group of otters? A uh, family? Boom! Good job, Jack. <laughs> Are you looking at my list over here? No, I can't read. Um, <laughs> what about a bunch of parrots? Uh, a pot of parrots. You're close. A pandemonium or company. Uh, what about a group of penguins? School. A colony, muster, parcel, or a rookery? Yeah, I was trying to remember that Morgan Freeman movie about the penguins. Uh, a group of pigs is called a drift, drove, sounder, team, or passel. Now, what about a porcupine? A prickle uh, porcupine? <laughs> boom. A prickle. A prickle. <laughs> a prickle. <laughs> I eat pickles. Okay, what about ravens? Uh, I have no clue. A watch, a watch full raven. <laughs> An unkindness. Oh. An unkindness of ravens. Ooh, that's mean. Rabbits are a colony or warren. Rhinoceroses, which is what we are, is a crash. We're the rhinos, the crashing with friends rhinos. Ah. Um... Let's see here. A bunch of salamanders together is called a maelstrom. Maelstrom. They got a cool name. Yeah. <laughs> salamanders are cool. They got a cool name. If you ever see a bunch of squirrels together, they're called a dre or a scurry. Can you start saying yo dude? Check this out before you do it. Everyone. <laughs> yo, dude, a bunch of, yo dude, a bunch of swans together is called a bevy game or a wedge. None of those make sense. It doesn't. A bunch of tigers together is called an ambush or a streak. I can see an ambush, a streak. Mm. This one's weird. If you get a bunch of turkeys together, they're called a rafter. (laughs) (laughs) They're called lunch. (laughs) I thought they were called a gang. A uh, A bunch of vultures together is called a venue. What about a bunch of whales, Jack? What's a bunch of whales? Um. pod? Another pod one? Or a gam. <laughs> what, and a bunch of wombats is a wisdom. A bunch of zebras is a zeal. And that's the end of my list, guys. All right. You got through them all. <laughs> <laughs> I got some of them right. I really find that shit interesting and fascinating. I don't know why, but I think it's just cool. I don't know. I don't want to know why they came up with those names, but I think it's cool that they have them. 
I was surprised to find out that monkeys was both barrel and troop. Mm-hmm. What are we going to call us when we get come down here? Homos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, okay. short for homo sapiens. <laughs> uh, okay, I like that. I don't. I don't know if I like that. Uh, this put me at the freaking seven psychopaths. All of a sudden, you guys remember that? I don't think they prefer that sound anymore. I think they prefer homos. <laughs> <laughs> are we a crash of friends? No. We're not? No. We're a tavern. A tavern. A tavern of friends. A tavern of dudes. We got drinks. Yep. Drink. I like that one. Okay. I just like the word tavern, too. So I like it. It's cozy. Crashing with friends. A tavern. That's right. A tavern We are story. a tavern. And we hope you guys join us next week at this here tavern. I've Tavern been, it up. I've been Kyle. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week, man. <laughs> Episode 144. <laughs> that was Connor. That's Matt. Jack. Brisk. 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 Uh, we got the Brisk. Red Bull. We got Empty Red Bull. Matt, oh, give yeah. us a word of wisdom to get us out on. Word of wisdom? Uh, with bad days, there's always, there's always going to be bad days, but... If there's always going to be bad days, that means there has to be always good days. Mm. Always good days, huh? Keep that in mind. All right. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> always watching. Cold <laughs> to those listening in Guantanamo Bay, good days are around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Guantanamo Bay. Brown. Brown. Crashing with friends. Podcast.